Once you've done that and you've determined if there's an intermediate step, now you can complete your full data mapping, right? So take those two endpoints and then fill in the thing in between. So that might be actually become two mappings instead. So a mapping from the source to intermediate, intermediate to target and back and forth, right? Um, make sure to get all of the details of what's happening there. And then once you have that done, we want to get sign off on that agreement, maybe even line by line, right? Get approval for this thing. Hey, we know what this document is. We know what it's supposed to do. And this is, this is a heavy lift sometimes, particularly for business users, if they want to look at it and say, I'm going to sign off on this. Now, the benefit of, of working with a company like us that provides the packaged integration is that we deliver this sort of pre-populated, all filled out thing, and you just have to validate it, right? It's all ready to go. You don't have to build that from scratch. But you still want to understand how things are moving. Um, once that's done, now you're going to go do the building, and this time you're going to you know, build to that spec, right? And then when you get changes, to change it. And that's your, your target. Um, and in parallel, you want to start doing test plans uh, uh, to, to get started for testing. Um, and the, so the test plans is uh, you want to, while development is going on, you know, come up with the plans for um, what the test cases are, how you're going to get your test data generated. Do you need to get a test instance of your endpoints? Uh, is that possible? Um, do you have a plan to reset the data and rerun the test things? And you know, the goal here is to find problems, right? And, and iterate, iterate on this. So coming up with those test plans that are written to the mappings or to the specifications are the way to go. So you're all going towards that same success point. Uh, and again, this what we say is like if you find problems, that's the process working, and that's good. You wanna you wanna have you want test to find issues. Um, so the other important thing here, and this is, comes out of my little story time, is you know to have sort of shared project documents. So we've talked about the mapping documents and the business requirements and all that. So you also want to create you know sort of testing statuses for all the test cases, as well as maybe uh, validating of all the mappings, uh, issue logging, issue resolution. If there's updates to the mapping or requirement updates, the ability to do that, and and possibly a project plan and timeline, because oftentimes there's moving parts. So having all of those documents in some sort of you know, living share document resources is, is super helpful to this process. Um, and then knowing how people can make changes to those um, and, and, um, and be notified when there's issues. So ideally, you know, once all the test cases are approved, then it should be ready to go live if you're keeping up with that, right? There's no surprises. Um, so this is probably one of the big keys is to come up with a way to do this uh, effectively. Um, and we'll talk about some tool options in a second. Um, and once you have that done, then you, you know, put together a plan. So now you've finished your testing, you've moved to production, you know, have a plan for the notifications and monitoring. Uh, and then be prepared to test if there's sort of major upgrades. If you're doing a Banner 9 upgrade or a whatever, can, can you, are you ready to, you know, you know, to find any issues with your integration? Um, and then make sure that the documentation that you've created, all these shared things are available uh, and, and accessible in some sort of knowledge base for the, um, you know, whoever is going to be maintaining that. And if you leave, the, if you're the one who wrote it and you leave the institution, you don't want any mystery. Like, there's all those details in that, in that document.